All right, let's do it together. Exercise 6.3a. So, read the question together. A lecturer at UMP wishes to investigate the relationship between total hours of study and the midterm test score for statistic cost. So, from the first sentence, that lecturer wants to investigate the relationship relationship between total hours of study and midterm test score. Okay, berapa banyak dia belajar dan dia punya midterm test score. She asked a random sample of A student and to record their study time for statistics. Then she made a table for total hours they study and their midterm test score. So you have the data for total hours of study and the midterm test score for a student. Student number one study eight hours and the midterm test score is 92. Student number two study 15 hours. They get the marks 81 and so on. Number one, identify the independent and the dependent variable involved in this study. So, what is the X and what is the Y? What depends on what? Total hours of study depends on the midterm test score or midterm test score depends on total hours of study. Okay, the answer is midterm test score depends on the total hours of study. So, our independent X is hours of study. Okay, how about the dependent? Y is midterm test score. Alright, number two. By completing the following table, so this table this table, this table. Test the linearity. Test the linearity between dependent and the independent variable. So when we talk about linearity, linearity test. So you should have the H null and H1. Step number one. Step number two is your F test. How to get the F test? You have to go through this table, this F test here. So, how to find this value? Alright, so first you need to complete this one. Total, SS total equals to SY, Y. So, you need to find SY, Y. So, in order for you to find SY, Y, you need to find this one. Okay, so here is SSR is equals to beta 1 cap times SXY. So you need to find your SXY. In order for you to find SXY, you need to have your summation XY, summation X, summation Y, and the N. And beta 1. Beta 1 is equals to s x y divided by s x x so you need to have your s x x so in order for you to have s x x you need to find summation of x summation of x square and the n then you can complete this table okay so the first step is find the n so n is equals to Summation of x total data x. So please cut it on yourself. I give you the answer one one seven. Summation of x square is one eight six nine. Summation of y six six zero. Summation of y square. 5, 4, 6, 3, 8. Summation of x, y. 
9519 okay when you get all this one you will have the as x x is equals to 157.875 as y y is equals to 188 as xy is equals to negative 133.5 i'm not showing you how to get the sxx syy and sxy you have to calculate on yourself okay so after you get all these values substitute into the um, table here okay so table here sst equals to syy so our syy is one egg egg so you put here one egg egg okay sy ssr equals to beta one times sxy so ssr equals to beta 1 negative 133.5 divide by 157.875 negative 0 0.8456 so SSR is equals to negative 0 0.8456 times SXY one negative one three three point five so ssr is equals to one one two point eight seven six so you put the value here one one two point eight eight seven six right how do we get this error this error is equals to SS error is equals to SS total minus SS R 112.8876. Okay, so here you will get 75.1124. Put here. Okay, degree of freedom. Degree of freedom regression is always 1. Degree of freedom total is n minus 1. n is 8 minus 1 equals to 7. Right? And next, how do we get degree of freedom error? 7 minus 1, you will get 6. Okay, and next, mean square. MSR is equals to 112.8876 divided by 1. You get 11.8876. You put here. So, how do we get MS error? Equals to 75.1124 divided by 6. So you will get mm, 12.5187. So we put here. And last F test is equals to MSR one one two point. 8876 divided by MSE 12.5187. So you will get the M test is 9.0174. Put here. Then complete the table. Okay, so now move. Linearity test is 
start with step number 1 H null and H1 So our H null is beta 1 equals to 0 beta is not equals to 0 Right? So step number 2 is the F test We have calculated our F test just now So the F test is 9.0174 Number 3, F critical value. Alpha is 0 0.05. Nu 1 is degree of freedom residual, which is 1. Nu 2 is 6. Okay, 1. Nu 2 is degree of freedom. Where? Six. So F zero point zero five one six is equals to look at your stat table, you will get five point nine eight seven four. Okay. Step number three. Eh, sorry. Step number four. Compare. Since F test is equals to 9.0174 greater than f 0 0.0516 5.9874 because of greater than reject h null so number 5 we reject h null okay reject this h null so add alpha 0 0.05 Beta 1 is not equals to 0. What does it mean by beta 1 is not equals to 0? There is a relationship between hours of study and midterm test score. That's it. So please try many exercise and the tutorial question.